Hey, hi everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Vishal. In this video, I'm going to talk about the most commonly asked interview questions. If any one of you has appeared for any interview, let's say data analyst, data engineer, or let's say SQL developer, you must have seen this question. Interviewer will give you two tables, table A and table B, and in that they will be having one ID column and they just want you to uh, calculate the number of records in each joint. So why this is very important? Because they just wanted to check your joint fundamentals. And many people make this mistake when they see either nulls are there or duplicate keys are there or duplicate records are there in any tables. In this video, I'm going to talk about this and I'm sure after watching this video, if you're going to pay attention, you will not you will never ever make a mistake. OK, so in this, I have taken table A and table B. In table A, I have taken like seven records. Similarly, in table B also, I have seven records. They can be like different numbers, can be like two records, three records, one record, 10 records. It can be anything. And I have given random like one, one, two, three, three, four, three. And here I have taken one, two, three, five, three. Okay. On the right hand side, I have two nulls, but in the left table, I have one null. Now, if they give you these two tables, forget about the records, forget about how many records you're getting, how many duplicates you're getting. You should first focus on the inner join. If you have calculated the number of record into the inner join, your job is going to be very easy. So we just need to pay attention to calculate the number of record into the inner join first. Now to do it, what we're going to do, I'm going to take one pen here, like we, so now first thing you just need to start from your left table with the first record. Okay. Now look at my first record. I have one here. So you just need to start with this one and you need to look up into your another table means your right table. So for me, this is left table and this is right table. So I'll start with the left table and I will be checking for very first record into the right table. So now I have this one and if I need to compare this, I see this one equal to one. So I am going to get one. So this one is not the record one, it's matching means the occurrences. So one is going to match means yes, it is going to match with and I'm going to get one record. Now the same one, we're going to compare with two, three, five, three and null. But there is no match. So we got only one record. Now I will repeat this for the second column, second rows of the left table. Now in this, I'm going to get this one and here I will be comparing. So the first record, it is matching. So I get another one. I'm going to write plus one. And then I'll do the same thing for rest of the columns. And here I got zero record. So, so far I got two records. Okay. Now I'm going to repeat it for other records, which we have in the left table. First, we have this two. So this two, I'm going to match with the one. It's going to be zero. But here it is only and only going to match with this two. So I got another one record. And then there is no other matching. But when I come for this three here in the right in, in the left hand side, this three is going to match with this once. So I'm going to write plus one. Then again, it is going to match with this three. So here I have two occurrences in the right side. So I will be marking two entries here. Then now this four, I can see the four is definitely not here in the right table. So it is not going to be included into the inner join. Then this three again, I'm going to repeat it. So this three will be matching with this three ones and this three twice. So again, I will be having plus one and plus one. How many record we get? Two, three, five, and two, seven. So in inner join, I will be getting seven records. Now you may be asking that Vishal, there is one more null that do we need to consider this? No. 
if you get any like uh, in any of the table like left or right we do not need to consider the nulls null cannot be comparable or cannot be like consider in these join conditions okay so what we are going to do in the inner join we are only and only going to find out the matching record between these two tables so in in a table a i need like two one were there two three are there but here also we have two three so that is why it is giving me two into two four records but for one two into one one record so total i'm gonna get seven records here okay let's just try it over here in my sql so what i have done i have this abc select star from abc i have seven records i've inserted the same record whatever like uh, we have over there and i'm doing the select star from bcd okay i can see one two three five three and all now we just need to find out the count of it in the inner join so what would i what i'll write select count star from abc inner join or uh, let me actually not take this count star i should take star only so that you will actually see this record select star inner join bcd on abc.id equal to bcd.id now when i run this one and you see how many record i got seven records and i told you this one is coming twice here but here only one so two occurrences here this side one occurrences so multiply that two into one so there should be two one in output let's verify that yes two one we have now this one is coming once on this two is coming one and one so there should be only one times two but this three here we have two times three and here also we have two times three so it's two into two it should be four and i can see one two three and four and then so in the total in inner join i'm gonna get seven records i hope it's clear so far so the simple formula is find the number of the records which is matching in the inner join and like uh, you can if you are just a beginner always start with this like always like take pen and paper in the interview and try to compare the left record with the right table and whenever you find a match just mark one remember your school time when we used to count like on the fingertips one two three four five six similarly you have to do it take your time because if you are going to make a mistake in this interview questions your like uh, chances is definitely going to be uh, like you will be getting a like uh, rejection in your next round or you will not be called for another round so take your time but make sure you are answering it correctly now if I consider if now the ones we have a seven record now let's go for the left join for left join the simple formula for left right and full you take these inner join whatever we got get it over here so in left I have seven right I mark seven and full I mark seven but I'm going to take plus plus so I will be adding few more records but first consider left join so left join says whatever we are getting from the inner join plus so means like if i say technical definition so left join is that give you matching record from both the both the tables plus non-matching record of the left table means whatever we do not find into the right table but we have in the left table those occurrences should be added also those number of records should be added also so in inner i got seven but here i do have four which is definitely not matching in table b also this null is not matching in the table b again i said null we are not comparing here okay null we will be always considered as a unique result in both the table so this is one time four so i'm going to write seven plus one because four is coming one now null is also coming as one so i'm going to write plus one so in left i will be getting nine records i'm repeating 
in the left joint we need to consider whatever output we get it from inner joint plus whatever we do not have in table b but in table a so in table a i have four which is not here i have null because we i mean you might be thinking that we shall we have null on the right hand side but no we are not going to compare with the nulls of a table to b table now let's see it so I'm going to use the same query and here I'm going to copy that. The only thing which I need to change is in place of inner, I need to mark as left join. So when I do that, I will be getting nine records, which is perfectly fine. And if you will look at this output, so it is giving me one, one, two, two, three, four and null. So one record extra four and then null. Now, if I do the right join, if I'm going to change this query to right join, how many record I'm going to get? So for this right join, now I will change it. I'm going to erase it actually. Yeah. No, sorry. Yes. So if I'm going to take it right join in this one, I have this five, which is not here. Plus these two nulls is not there. That means seven, I got it from the inner join. Additionally, one five and two nulls. So that is going to make my total count is 10. Let's do that. So if I'm going to write it and going to execute it, how many record I got? 10 rows. Okay, now the full join, the full join is just going to be, I'm going to actually write it over here. Seven from the inner join, what addition we got it from the left join? These two. And then what addition results or how many additions result we got it in the right join? These three. One and two. This is three. So in the full outer join or the full join, I am going to get seven plus two is nine plus three equal to twelve. And you can just see that. So if I'm going to copy this and Uh, going to write it like a full join and we should be getting 12 records you see that 12 rows here and what all we are getting so we are getting one one two four times three two one times then four five is here and null so that's why we are getting 12 records here so number of inner join is going to be matching from both the tables. You just need to check it. If it is coming once or twice, you just need to multiply by that. Now, last one is the cross join. The cross join is basically, you just need to find the number of record into the table A and the number of record in table B. So let's say we have M record here an n record here in the cross join it will be right m into n so i have seven record here i have seven record here total i will be getting 49 records and to get it you just simply need to write select start abc comma bcd and let's see that I got 49 records so cross join is nothing but a Cartesian product it find every single combination it find every single combination means it's one is one two three five three null null so first it is going to give all these seven records for against this one then it is going to give these seven record against this one then two three like this so we can see that we are getting 49 records. I hope you get this. I hope you probably got some better clarity on it. And uh, I believe that you are not going to make this mistake in your next interview. So spend some time, randomly write some numbers from table A, in like in table A and table B and try to do this maths. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you have liked it. If yes, then please subscribe this channel. To get more videos on SQL, Snowflake, Material and Data Engineering. Thank you.